Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we are doing a video on basically Recon NG. If you guys don't know what that is, it is an OSINT tool. It is an amazing tool. It is incredible. And we're going to cover kind of some of the things that you can do to gather um, information about websites, businesses, things like that. And then you guys are going to play with it. I'm not going to dive super deep into it because this is a insane tool that you can do all kinds of stuff with. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. If you guys like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit that sub button. We're so close. I'm trying to get to 5k this year. I think we can do it. I think you guys have done an amazing job. If you guys like this type of um, interaction as well, go ahead and hop in the Discord. The link's down below. We use that um, quite often, and there's giveaways in there and stuff like that, so check it out. And then if you want to support, you can hit the Patreon, but that's not required by any means, so don't worry about it. All right, first things first. Um, for those of you that watch my videos all the time, you know I am horrible about put covering my camera with my commands so i'm gonna try and make a very valid point to keep not doing that um hopefully i can do that we'll see here though so let's go ahead and give me one sec here i've got my notes here that i've got to switch over to here so these are the notes these are the commands that we're going to be going through all right so let's go ahead and hop into it so first things first um obviously you just have to start up recon ng so you start it up and you can see we get all those errors, right? So I'll go ahead and then minimize these a little bit here. There we go. All right, so I just want to show you guys those errors, and I want you to be able to read them. So just so that you can see. So you see all of them say Hunter IO, key not set, key not set, key not set. That's what they are. Okay, so this is a fresh install of Parrot. You can use this on Kali, whatever. Um, but when you download and install Recon NG, when you install the modules, which I'm going to cover here in a second and show you guys, um, if you don't actually use an API key, meaning, for instance, you guys know with Shodan, you have to have an account to use an API key, which lets programs actually reach out and request information. If you don't put your API key into um, Recon NG, it gives you those errors, which says basically it may not work, right? Which makes sense. The tool doesn't work if you don't have credentials to log into it. If you put your API key, you can make this tool even more um, insane than it is. The big thing is here that I'm not putting my API keys here just because um, for the YouTube video, for one, this is a box that I use for YouTube videos only. And for two, um, there's a lot of times where I'll open files and things like that without paying attention. I don't want to share my API keys, right? So let's go ahead and hop into it. So you can see here we have discovery modules, exploitation modules, import modules, recon modules. These are just things that they're telling us. It's not something um, you don't really need to remember. It's just telling you the amount of different modules. So for instance, if we did um, modules and search, and we said we want to search for recon modules, right? There's all the recon modules, okay? And you can see already you're getting some good information. You can see you're looking at... Uh, you can find profiles from different websites that's going to use probably, you know, like YouTube, Twitter, things like that for you. You can actually go ahead and look at Bing LinkedIn contacts, um, GitHub users, all this stuff. So these are good tools, right, already. But well, the ones we're going to focus on today are ones that you should be using um, kind of when you're doing like pen tests for companies and things like that. And these are just small example of the amount you see there's hundreds of them i don't have time to cover hundreds of them for you guys and i've done videos on recon ng before but i want to do an update one so that way people get more exposure to it and you can actually see um, some of the modules that i use so let's go ahead and hop into it so first things first you're gonna to have to do when you get into recon ng you will have zero modules so what you can do is you say marketplace and then you can say search and if you know which module you want you can actually search it so Let's say we, we're going to use the Metacrawl. Let's go ahead and search that. And you can see there's the Metacrawler one, right? Well, what we can do is we could actually install that. But since we already have it installed, we're going to say Marketplace. And then we'd say Install and All. So this will install every, basically everything in the Marketplace. And you can see it's already checking. All mine are installed. So I'm not going to, it's it's actually going back through and, and installing them again, but this is how you get all of them, and I recommend doing all of them unless you have specific ones you want. You can also use third-party ones and things like that, but we're not going to cover that in this. The main reason I recommend all of them is they're not like these are taking up a lot of space or anything like that. You can go ahead and hop in, install them all, and within 
you know, five, 10 minutes, you have every module that you need. And then there you go. You get all the API keys again. So again, those are just, you have to set the API keys and you can set those when you run those modules. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and show you guys the search, which I already showed you a little bit, but we'll say module search. And if you remember, we did the discovery, there was only two, right? So module search and we'll search for discovery ones. And there's only two discovery info disclosure, interesting files. So this is actually one of my favorite ones. And the reason this is one of my favorites is because most of us go to websites and do things, you know, like using different lists to try and, you know, gather domain or, uh, directories, right? So you may go to a website, you may run some, you know, crawlers, you may run whatever you run on it and try and get like the admin page or, you know, the robots.txt file, you try and get all that stuff. Um, and there's different tools that do that. You know, we all know that there's different tools, but this one is just a quick one. You don't have to set it all up. You don't have to use Durbuster, or GoBuster. You don't have to wait 20 minutes for it to run. I'll show you. So we just say on here, you're just going to say, you have to start everything with modules. If you're going to use a module, so you're going to say modules and we're going to say load and it'll tab. You see tab info disclosure, and we're going to say interesting files. Okay. Now when we type options, you'll see here, this is where you got to be a little bit, um, kind of savvy with it. You got to know, because you notice when you list options, it's not like Metasploit where it's going to tell you what options needed. Um, so what we're going to say is we're going to say options set and then source. The source is the option we're going to set, right? And we're going to set and the source we're going to use, we're just going to use try hack me because that's something we use all the time on here. And we've, they, they know people are looking at their stuff. So we say set now you just run it and now watch this. You can see it took me, you know, five seconds. I didn't have to go to Durbuster, go buster. And I've gotten now granted, you see that they're only checking port 80 here, which is fine, but you can see, I got the robots text. I got sitemap. Um, let's see, I've got the admin console. I've got a web console. So I got that quick information just like that. So this is all doing stuff that I would look at basically at a glance. I'm going to use one tool, recon ng to set aside all this information. And this gives me a good starting point. This is not going to be an all inclusive tool. Um, you can gather a ton of information on this, but again, you're not going to use this and only this. I did not mean to exit the whole thing. Um, one thing I didn't cover too is how to set up workspaces. So if you guys are using a recon NG for a long period of time, such as, uh, you know, you're working with X company, right? Whatever company it is, you would actually go ahead and say, set it up like this. You'd say recon NG and you'll say tech W for workspace. And we'll say X company. It doesn't matter what it is. And you can actually just work with workspaces, but you can see here now we have X company. So now when we look at workspaces, you can see we can create list load. So you can see if I say workspace and list workspaces and list, you can see we have X company. So that's the one we're working in. It saves that information for you. So everything we do is saved. So that's why I recommend the workspaces and I forgot to cover it because I'm going through it kind of fast. So the next one we're going to run is modules load. And this is the meta crawler. So we can just say meta crawl. Let's see if it'll. All right. So modules load meta crawl. Okay. And of course it's not going to actually run it, which is of course. So we'll say search and we'll get the actual specific. Uh, we'll get the specific one here. Modules search meta crawler. Um, okay. And it actually didn't find that one. So it's going to be under recon, I believe. So we'll look for recon and we'll look for the meta crawler one. So basically what we need is we need the full name of it. All right. So modules search meta crawler and no modules found. Okay. So I don't have this module found apparently. Um, interesting. Okay. 
Yeah, it's not going to work. Give me a sec, guys. I have to download the module, I guess. I thought I installed them. Okay, guys, welcome back. So what happened was, since this is a fresh install on Parrot and I didn't have Recon NG installed yet, I installed it for this video, um, or I had Recon NG, I didn't have the modules installed, um, there's dependencies that are required on these modules, and I'll show you how you find that basically first, and then I'll show you what I had to do to get it to work so that you guys get Metacrawler to work because that's one that I do recommend and use. So in Marketplace, if I searched for it, if I searched for Metacrawler, you can see it says installed here. If that status says disabled, which it did at the beginning and I didn't even like pay attention, um, when that says disabled, that means there's dependencies that you haven't installed yet. So what you do is you say Marketplace, info and you'll say metacrawler or whatever tool you want and you can see here's the dependencies olf file pipe df3 and lxml so i just went over here and i installed them so sudo pip install olf file lxml pipe pdf3 and boom and then now when i go in here and i say modules search and i say metacrawler it exists so now we can use it so that's what you had to do um sorry it I had to go out and figure it out because, um, like I said, this is a fresh install for me, so I didn't realize that I didn't have the dependencies. So, like I tell you guys in every one of my videos, I don't take out my bloopers, if you will. Um, the, this is a mistake. This is something that I should have set up before. This is something that you guys will run into in the real world. This happens all the time, this type of stuff where you have to do a quick troubleshoot, say, hey, why isn't this showing up? But it's showing up here. And when I saw it was disabled, I knew I had to install the dependencies. So let's go ahead and hop back into where we were. So let's load it up. Modules, load, Metacrawler. And you can see now we're in here. So now we need to set the modules set, the source again. And again, we'll just use tryhackme.com. Doesn't really matter. And Let's go ahead and run it. Source contains no input. Okay. Modules set source. Interfaces with install modules. Okay. Not sure why it's uh oh I'm doing module set source, that's why. It's option set source. See now I got myself all flustered. There we go. Okay, now we run it. And you can see here, within two seconds, they found seven files on tryhackme.com. We have malware sample PDF. We have a case study PDF. We have these PDFs. So this is an insane tool because this actually allows you to crawl the website and grab PDFs from it. That's awesome. You can see, obviously, it does other ones as well. It does documents, XMLS, PowerPoints, DocXs, PDFs, blah, blah. The reason this is so good is because it, I have a video on Google dorking as well. You can do this manually, but it's going to take you a lot longer. This does it for you in a matter of seconds. So that's really, really nice. And you can see I could go download them if I wanted to. I don't really want to. So now um, we're going to show you two more basically. So we'll go ahead and say, let's go ahead and modules and load. And this one you guys should be familiar with. We'll say who is. So there's a couple. So we're going to say modules, load, and we'll say who is, and we're just going to use the, there we go, pox one, P-O-C-S, um, point of contact. So now we're just going to say set options, if I can type, set source, and again, tryhackme.com. We already know the who is record of tryhackme.com because we've done it on this video a hundred times, but let's go ahead and run it. And now look at this. No contact is found. Now, that is true. If you do a who is, who is record on TryHackMe, there is no actual contact found. There is a um, Namecheap Inc. Okay, that's a company, but there's no contact. The, the company name is there, but not the um, contact. So keep that in mind that you're not going to always get the who is record because some companies don't list who is, and that's fine. But you want to run it, and you want to check it out. Now, that's what makes this tool so freaking cool. And why I've had to cover, well, not had to, why I've covered Recon NG multiple times in different videos is because look at how easy a one one tool can do all of this for you and you can just be gathering information. So now, last one, whoops, last one we're going to do is the MX record. And we'll see what we can get from here. Okay, now we're going to say options, set source, 
And there are literally hundreds of, and we'll run it. And you can see here, we got five total, five new hosts found. And you can see we have their mailing dom or their mailing servers, right? That is awesome. That is awesome. And you can see it doesn't give us any information on them, just the names, which is great. Um, Try Hack Me is a site specifically designed for security, so I expect it to be more secure. So I don't expect to get a ton of results from these, but I use them because we use them all the time on this channel. I think they're an incredible company. I think they're great. And so I like to use them for examples. Number one, to try and get their name out there more as if I need to. And number two, just because I think it's a good practice to only do this on sites that authorize it, okay? Um, so this is kind of some of the stuff you can do on Recon NG. Like I said, mess around for yourself. The modules search, you can see there is literally hundreds, okay? Mess with them. Start working with them. Put your API keys in there and see what you can find. You can go in here, and I know we did one with on the Patreon, I think, maybe. I can't remember when I did it, but we did a um, script where we used the Shodan IO API key with Recon NG, and we actually were pulling host lists and everything else so there's some really cool stuff you can do here so mess around with it have fun but be careful because yes it's all open source information but as if you're doing this to your friends and family and stuff like that some of it um to me is immoral i don't recommend it i don't i will never um condone that um but if you're doing it for your company or for yourself, you're trying to gather information to see what's out there for you. You should be doing this on your, if you work for a company and you're a security professional, you should be doing these things because these are the things that other hackers are doing. So you should be checking out your company saying, Hey, Hey, we've got these open files sitting out here. We should probably, um, you know, get rid of these. These are important files, those type of things you should be doing. So go ahead, check it out, have fun, be safe. And once again, if you guys like the video, like this content, hit that like button. Thank you so much.